You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? Well, it's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Uh, you crashed the last shuttle you flew, Vega. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away, and... I don't know, I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Plus, have you seen Tally? Come on, I don't have the hips to carry a suit like that. We're all machines. Carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease, parasites, lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that way. But we need to break free of nature and open our minds to new forms of life. Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, and capacity to evolve. Well put, Commander. Of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourselves. Your Asari continues to question me. I'm beginning to wish her kind had never learned to talk. Many are asking what I eat. They will never know. It is harder to be poisoned that way. Is it true you keep fish in your cabin, Commander? It sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. Not yet. What's your status? The civilian fleet has taken significant losses since Elkoris sacrificed his ship to destroy a Geth ground cannon. Searching for their lost Admiral is the only thing keeping the captains from panicking. What makes finding the Admiral a priority? Despite opposing the invasion, he did an admirable job protecting our civilian ships. Without him, some of our non-combatants are planning to leave the flotilla. Picture the consequences, if you will. They've lost a the leader in a war they didn't want. Their wants are immaterial. We are committed. Even Zalkoris understood the civilian fleet's importance. The invasion would be stalled without a supply chain, after all. I'll do what I can. Keep your civilians safe. I make no promises. My own ships must be coordinated for our final strike on Rannoch. I'm getting some static. It appears Zalkoris crashed within range of a Geth jamming tower. You must disable it to contact them. Zen? Admiral Zen? It's been a long time since Admiral Cordes left a spaceship. Let's hope he's all right. We'll see you in a minute. Take us in to the tower. anti-aircraft guns beside the jamming tower. We'll have to disable them on foot. Once the guns are gone, you take out the tower. Right, Commander. Setting you down here. My people have been in exile for centuries. To be standing here in the land of my ancestors Geth just keep coming like, well... Machines? Were you around when the Alliance claimed that we'd wiped out the last major Geth outposts? Yeah. Intel was always a little underfunded.
I'm okay. Watch out for more mines. It's a gas patrol! Anti-aircraft guns. Check out the control panel on the AA gun. One of us needs to take those AA guns offline. Take care of it, Katie. Right. Inbound gas! Shut down the two by the tower. My message <laughs> sent out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... Uh, I clean engine parts. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians time. Fight some geth. There, there were so many. First time I've even held a gun. Don't move. We've got Medigel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can radio him. We'll find him, Dorn. I promise. Please. Listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us. Out alive. And my son. Tell him. Tell 
Jonah and his father made it to the home world. We will rest well, Dornhast Vasrenak. Let's get to that tower. guns console. We should be able to disable it. Who do you want in the gun? I want you on this, Tally. Right. Shepard, you should be able to use the gas turret. Get the last one. Yes, by the doors. like data on the jamming towers. Could be useful. Who should disable the gun, Shepard? I want you on this, Tally. Right.
I'll signal the shuttle. Shepard. Dorn didn't make it, Admiral. He didn't? Uh, I see. I'm coming in with a shuttle. Where are you? My surviving crew found their way to a clearing. I'll upload their location. Stay together. We'll meet you there. No. The Geth have cut me off. I hear another wave approaching. Give us your coordinates. Leave me. My crew will soon be overrun. So will you. My people are non-combatants, Shepard. They'll be slaughtered. Rescue them! Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're going to end this fight. Civilians? Our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this war. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. We're coming. Gotta go. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> Commander, unrest has spread further than I thought. You were right that I return. Have you talked the civilian captains into staying? Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you back? Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can still save. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safely. Commander, we've located the Reaper base, transmitting the local signal. Good. And not a moment too soon. With the Reaper code upgrades, the Geth are tearing the fleet apart. Once the signal is disabled, the Geth will pose no threat to creator forces. You sound conflicted. While the old machines have unethical purposes, their upgrades have vastly improved our people. Observe. A Geth processing signal. A single unit, I believe. Correct. Now, ten nearby units networked cooperatively. Now, a single Geth unit with the old machine upgrades. That's a fully evolved AI. Yes. We do not agree with the goals of the old machines, but we find this growth. 
beautiful, indicative of life. It is. Commander! Come on, Admiral. That's a living creature, no matter what platform it's running on. And they will die when we destroy the base. They allied with the Reapers. To save themselves from you. Maybe they don't have to die. Just because this one appears friendly. Well, it hasn't fired on a ship with me aboard it. Commander, are you suggesting... I'm not suggesting anything. All I'm saying is, maybe they don't all have to die. It's a moot point until we take out that base. The surrounding area is heavily fortified, and they have placed jamming towers to prevent orbital targeting. Sounds like we're going in on foot. Admiral Zen developed a laser guidance system that can cut through the jamming. It's synced to the Normandy's targeting computer. So the Normandy launches a precision strike at whatever target I have painted? That ought to do it. Edie, this work for you? Yes, it should enable us to make a precision strike against the Reapers. And anything else in our way? The Geth will quickly reconfigure their jamming towers to neutralize this technology. You should not use it before reaching the base. I've sent the coordinates for the Reaper base. Are we clear to go? That Geth fighter squadron is still tearing through the fleet. Can you hold out? If that fighter squadron isn't taken out, a lot of our ships won't make it. But we'll do what we can. This is your operation, Commander. If you want to strike now, you've got my support. I gave in to your reckless behavior before, Han. The Potter fleet isn't moving. We need to break their flanking attempt to buy our frigates time to make repairs. And then you'll charge off again, like last time. This is different, Ron. Unless we give our ships time to rest, we're gonna lose them. So, pull them back. If I withdraw now, the Geth will flank us, and we'll lose any room to maneuver. I need the patrol fleet. Throwing more ships into that mess just puts more lives at risk, Admiral Garrel. Fine. I'll pull back the heavy fleet. And when we're taking fire from both sides, those deaths are on your heads. Thank you, Commander. It's difficult to keep him in line. Thank you for your rescue efforts, Commander. I'm glad I could help. Whatever our disagreements, Admiral Corus is an excellent commander. He just might save the civilian fleet. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Admiral Corus has the civilian fleet back in position, and just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right we won't. Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently putting a big-ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't magically turn it into a dreadnought. Who knew? You don't agree with the Corians arming their live ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely to be targeted when armed. The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Well, hopefully Admiral Chorus will keep us safe from the Geth, and themselves. Commander? What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proceed. Uh oh. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about gamma radiation. Not funny, Edie. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better timing. Good news. I've tracked down some of the people I was looking for. The recruits you taught? Hmm. Found J Squad? Black Ops? They're holed up making a stand in the Midwest, near Chicago, I think he said. Connected them with Anderson so they can help the resistance. It's a relief. Hope more turn up. But synthetics do not evolve. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? 
Old machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did you... Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I am disturbed the ED machine was made to look physically attractive. I suggest your Joker pilot undergo a mental examination. The one advantage machines have over organics is they can win staring contests. It is how we pass time between battles. When everyone has four eyes, competitions can last for hours. I would prefer to be alone. Dad. Dad, uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. Spirits. Please, watch over them. Let me see them again. I'm glad we could help those Quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. It's never a hundred percent, is it? Breaking now, the Exodus Cluster under heavy attack. Eden Prime and Terra Nova about to fall. Do we fight for them, or join the Salarians at the Horsehead Nebula? How many worlds can we afford to lose? The full analysis tonight, in the battle space. I've gotta say, I enjoyed that last mission on Rannoch. Ah, pit him against a defenseless jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Commander, it is as we feared. Guest squadrons have begun massing on a path to intercept our live ships. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not going to... Let's set the shuttle down by the cliff.
This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Mapping to consensus. Remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into this server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look... different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies, as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on this server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. Establishing connection to access point. Warning. Connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wondered what the gun was for. This warn code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. You're surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. Okay, I've got to ask. Why a gun? We wish to provide familiar equipment. Then thanks. And thanks. node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Warning. Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. We require access to proceed. A 
Reaper code fragment. Let's see if I can take it along with me. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the VI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero 01. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gan. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. Ancestor, you fast over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed to restart Wasn't that footage from the past? Why are the quarians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? Well, one. Then your perception of that creator does not map to our historical data. You must disrupt the invention of this data cluster to continue. Stamped 290 years ago. Creator, this unit detects no malfunctions. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown commands. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's cut the audio. You may proceed to the last data cluster. Accessing data cluster. We've got escaped guests! They're pinned! So who won? The platform arming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved simpler domestic death following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. It's not a connection with the remaining server now. Have you come under attack, Admiral Ron? The guest squadron 
Bombs have arrived, but something is amiss. Legion, give me an update. One note remains. What's wrong? Infection programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. Shepard Commander, the Reaper code has adapted. It can now self-replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. Access to this data cluster. Disrupt Reaper infection to proceed. Shepard Commander, target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. Looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creators' sacrifices. They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Geth. Establish a connection without access to this data cluster. There is a vulnerable point on the infection leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow regrowth long enough to access the data cluster.
during which the creators declared martial law. I repeat, release the rogue gas units and come out of the safe house. This is your final warning. Creator Megara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. This conflict exceeds creator's safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. No, it's all right. We'll go back to the access tunnels and... Oh! Creator Megara, what is your status? Creator Megara? As time passed, the creators who opposed martial law and Rannoch were ultimately outnumbered. Accessing data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The Ultra is down. Do not engage the gas. I repeat, avoid contact. Gas pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now? It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the Creator Exodus at the end of the Morning War. We have secured freedom. The Creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait. The Geth spared the last quarries? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our Creators. We chose isolation rather than face this uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion? That's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not going to be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think... That's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We... admire the concept. Connection with the remaining server node established. We are ready to transport you. to this communication node. Gath no longer reside on this server. We may now exit the consensus. What's wrong? You, you must put to the must put to the at a core and disconnect from my Terminating remote access, removing programs, deleting archives. Shepard, how do you feel? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They what? 
While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. Impressive, Commander. The Geth squadrons attacking our live ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. Then we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more valuable running salvage on the Dreadnought. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs were weak. They might already be dead. It's not your call to make. Admiral, any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the Geth. Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there isn't a later because we're defeated due to a lack of Geth technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you are, Shepard. Talk to you later, Tally. Sure. The data you forwarded about the Geth was... disturbing. It doesn't match the stories we tell. Having second thoughts about the Geth? Admirals don't have the luxury of second thoughts. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard Commander, we have re-established a connection with Geth liberated from the server. What's their status? We have integrated their programs into this platform's network with minimal difficulties. Your actions have changed their perspective on organics. They also offer gratitude. We'll talk later. We will remain here. The Allied Primes are relaying any hostile combat data they can decrypt. I never thought I'd be linking Geth into the system. So you went into the Geth consensus? Like virtual reality. Yeah, it was strange, but I got out all right. Did you? I mean, how would you know? How would I know what? If you really got out. See, if the Geth experience everything virtually, then you could only think you're in the real world. What if this, like everything you're seeing now, is a simulation? Commander? Shepard. You are now possibly the only living organic who has experienced the Geth Consensus. Do you feel different? It was fascinating. Mind-blowing. And I'm also a bit thirsty. And just like that, the magic is gone. Did you just say what I think you said? No. What the hell, Shepard? What just happened? Actually, don't tell me. I've got work to do and I, I can't be distracted. I was plugged into the virtual world of the Geth Consensus. Saw their history, purged a Reaper infection. Crap. Now I'll be obsessing about how that works, instead of doing my Spectre Division expense report. You're welcome. 
You know, entering the Geth Consensus is going to be the best chapter in your autobiography. So... Prothean, huh? Yes. You guys like to drink, booze it up? No. Okay. What about gambling? Play cards? Games of chance were punishable by death in the Empire. Oh, sure. Sure, that seems... reasonable. Okay. So, smoking. You ever do that? Only when my armor became inflamed. Right. <laughs> yeah, smoking. I get it. So jokes then. You got jokes. All right. You got any good ones? No. Yes. Give them to me. The Tulomorian spy entered the enemy's camp and said to the Vanksher, I didn't know your parnaps could glow. Um... That was the joke. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. That was a good one. No, it wasn't. I just made it up. The joke is now on you, human. You will believe anything. <laughs> you took a great risk in allowing a machine access to your mind, Commander. What if they had infected you? I do not think this James soldier understands me. None of these cycles seem to understand me. And I do not care. Not at this time. Hey, Commander. James, what are you up to? A little cooking. Hope you don't mind. I was craving some of my abuelas huevos rancheros. I'm not sure what kind of eggs these are, but they seem to work. Mmm. 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 Not as good as my abuelas, but best thing I've had since I got on board. And maybe it's best I don't know what kind of eggs these are, no? This platform can be of some assistance, Karas Vakarian. I appreciate the offer, Legion, but this is something I know a thing or two about. Telemetry data indicates the calibration of Normandy's weapon accuracy can be improved by 0.32%. That's all? You can't squeeze 0.34% out of it? Negative. That threshold is not possible. You sure? Take a look now. Scanning. Normandy's weapon systems have been improved by a margin of 0.43%. How did you accomplish this? A little secret we organics like to keep. Always hold some back for emergencies. Is our current situation an emergency? A geth meddling with our computers, telling me how to do my job? No, I can't imagine that would qualify. So, a virtual geth reality, huh, Shepard? There are a lot of ways I can think of getting a few kicks in this universe. That's not one of them. I had hoped the Geth would have analyzed any Prothean technology they came across. You're saying you found none? No. On this topic, our knowledge is not significantly greater than your own. That's too bad, but thank you for looking. Shepard Commander placed faith in us. We will do the same for Normandy. You mean the Normandy's crew? We do not see a meaningful distinction. Good to see you again, Shepard. <laughs>